task force convened for the very first time. That panel will examine inequalities in California, how slavery and systemic racism have impacted black people. The task force will then use what they find to make recommendations to state lawmakers about reparations. Joining us to talk about the task force is one of its nine members, San Diego City Council member Monica Montgomery Stepp. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Can you tell us what specifically you'll be investigating? Well, yes, we will be investigating uh, the treatment, particularly of African Americans uh, and uh, descendants of slaves uh, uh, here in California. And, you know, this really is a, a nationwide issue. Uh, HR 40 has been at the House of Representatives for a very long time uh, waiting for a vote. And so this bill is sort of California's version of the national bill. So there will be uh, quite a bit of research, quite a bit of investigation uh, about incidents that we may have heard of and may not have heard of and how things like redlining, uh, the Jim Crow era, uh, lack of investment in communities of color, particularly where African Americans have resided throughout history, has impacted our laws uh, now and how, you know, systemic racism has had an impact on the quality of life and the upward mobility uh, of African Americans in California. As you probably know, some critics are asking, why do this in California when it was not considered one of the major slavery states? Well, yes, I have heard that. I also know that, you know, my grandmother, actually my mother was born in Mississippi and came to California at a very young age. Um, my father uh, was born in Texas and came here through the military. And so we have roots, deep roots in the South. And those uh, types of nationwide laws, including those that promoted uh, redlining through uh, prior HUD laws and the like still had a major impact on California. So absolutely, uh, slavery is where it started. Uh, slavery ended, but the system kept sort of reinventing itself. And that has absolutely impacted Californians. In addition, we have had uh, instances in, in California uh, where uh, property has been taken, uh, freeways have been uh, built through uh, primarily African-American communities. So there have been major impacts. We, we definitely have to study that. And the last thing I'll say about that is, again, I mentioned HR 40. And this, we hope, is and will be a model for what we can do at the national level to investigate and to talk about how can we repair some of these things as a nation. We have a few seconds left. What are some ways reparations could be made? Well, of course, again, we will be investigating that as a task force, and our job is to present a report uh, by June 1, 2023, to the legislature, to the state legislature. But there are many different ideas around uh, reparations. Uh, some of them include cash payments. Some of them include neighborhood investments. Some of them include uh, better schools. Uh, also, you know, student loan debt payoff. There's uh, home buyer assistance, business capital, the investigations will be extremely important because then we can measure uh, the impact and, and the causes of impact and systemic racism in our communities. And then we can come up with the appropriate um, solutions. Monica Montgomery Stepp, thank you so much for filling us in today. Thank you very much for having me.